alone for almost three hours now, with nothing else to do but stretch and scratch and scribble rude words in the dust and look out over the battlements of the countryside. And there hasn't been a single soul around in all that time. <sighs> ah, the countryside, that's the place to be. No rationing there, no snapping up of all the tidbits by greedy generals and corrupt politicians. You grew all you ever wanted on your own home farm. No need to queue for hours or argue over the price of a cabbage in the countryside. Change his tune for him. Make him grovel down with fear. And wait for us to spare his life. This way. Quickly. Where has he gone? Phew. Just a moment. Stop here, mate. I'm quite worn out. It's no use going any further. We've lost him. He's sneaked off somewhere. Ladies and gentlemen, have any of you seen a shifty looking character running off with his arms full of treaty bottles? He's for it when we catch him. The filthy traitor. Yeah. But don't you want to know why my peace of the Spartans? Does not interest you at all. The reasons don't matter. All that matters is that you're a traitor. And you've deserved it. Traitor's death. You don't expect us to listen to a man who makes treaties with the enemy, do you? Kill. Here's the market at last. I thought we'd never find that. Oh, pun to the Megarians too. The only one in the whole of Greece. Now then, my wee ones, what do you say? Will you do it? Will you go ahead with a plan? Will you let me sell you for food? Aye. Tis a sad day when a man has to sell his own daughters to get food for the rest of the family. But we've no choice. Either you do it or the rest of your brothers and sisters starve. You must pretend to be pig lots. And I hope your new master's better able to feed you than your father was. Here, I'll call Dikaiopolis. Dikaiopolis? Do you want to purchase a pair of pig lots? Here, put your hand inside that sack and you can feel how small. Indeed, though I'll say so myself. Here's a nice line. Chickens, plump and ready for the oven. I can let you have them at a knockdown price. As a purely personal favour, mind, I wouldn't want the word to get around. The early woman catches the bad, I suppose. I hadn't finished, had I? Foxes, hedgehogs, liars, moles, moles, carpet, matting, cats, martins, fine compared heels, cow. <gasps> fine compared eels, did you say? They're my favourite food. Let's see them. Along, you little darlings. Fine and sleek, aren't you? Fit for a king's table. I can let you have them at a knockdown price. As a purely personal favour, mind. Oh, never mind the price. I'll take them. What do you want for them? Cash down or some local goods in exchange? Such as what? 
Athenian anchovies or best quality china pots? Anchovies or pots? Do me a favour. I want something unusual. Something you have here that we haven't got at home. Anchovies or pots? What do you take me for a fool? Ye gods, ye gods enthroned on high. What have you done to me? What agony? I'm ruined. Woe is me, alas. The foe has worsted me. Oh, lack a day. Oh. 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 and gentlemen, the play is done, but there's one more thing I'd like to say to you. This dreadful Spartan Wars oppressing everyone, and yet, strange though it is, there are very few of us who are willing to rouse ourselves and end it. Why? There isn't any mighty cause left for us to fight for. So why not rise up against the crooks and traitors who oppress us? Why wait? Why let these scoundrels still distress us? Don't yield, destroy them! Peace will be the prize.